For everyone glued to the news as updates come in on the spread of the coronavirus, Dr. Anthony Fauci is quickly becoming a familiar face in the American living room, one that seems to bring comfort and reassurance not only to the American people, but to the president himself. According to the Washington Post, Fauci is an immunologist, a scientist who studies the body's defenses, and head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. In light of the coronavirus pandemic, Fauci has been called by the White House to work on the coronavirus task force. Fauci is such a familiar presence these days that the hashtag WhereIsFauci spikes on the rare occasions the doctor is not present at the White House press briefings, according to Heavy. He's been married to his wife, Christine Gray, for 35 years. According to the Journal of Clinical Investigation, the couple met in 1983 and tied the knot in 1985. Grady is the chief of the Department of Bioethics at the National Institutes of Health Clinical Center. In an interview with the Financial Times in 2015, Fauci talked about Grady with pride, calling her a triple threat. He said, She went to school to get her PhD in philosophy, worked, and had three children. We met over the bed of a patient. In April 2010, President Obama appointed Dr. Grady to the Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues, where she became the chief of the Department of Bioethics at the National Institutes of Health Clinical Center, according to the archived blog for the 2009 to 2017 Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues. As of April 2020, Grady, who is 67, worries about her 79 year old husband and his busy schedule, especially now. Grady told CNBC's Make It, I try to get him to rest, to drink water, to eat well, to sleep, and to be selective about what he agrees to and say no to some things. Fauci and his wife have three daughters, and they grew up in Washington, D.C. According to her LinkedIn profile, their oldest daughter, Jennifer, a Harvard graduate, earned a master's degree in 2013 in developmental and child psychology from Columbia University, followed by a doctorate in counseling psychology from Boston College. Their second daughter, Megan, went to Johns Hopkins University, where she was pre-med, according to Heavy, but has since moved to New Orleans, where she works as a teacher. Their third daughter, Alice, Allison went to Stanford University and majored in computer science. She competed on the rowing team where she had great success for the four years she attended, according to her Stanford bio. After she graduated in 2014, she took a job at Twitter where she works as a software engineer, according to her LinkedIn profile. In the Journal of Clinical Investigation, a biographical portion in the article summed up Fauci's relationship with his family, saying, Fauci is phenomenally devoted and especially proud of his family, whom in in my opinion, gives him more satisfaction than anything else in life. Working at President Donald Trump's side during the coronavirus pandemic, Fauci has gained national recognition as one of the few people who publicly corrects him. No one is going to want to tone down things when you see what's going on in a place like New York City. I mean, I mean that's just, you know, good public health practice and common sense. As Fauci becomes more of a public figure with each White House briefing, there are also safety risks for the doctor. The Washington Post pointed out, security concerns for Fauci include threats as well as unwelcome communications from fervent admirers. The news outlet also noted that Fauci has become the target of some right-wing spokespeople who claim that he's a, quote, agent of the deep state and blame him for the president's restrictions. According to the Washington Post, the Department of Health and Human Services asked the U.S. Marshal service to provide protection for Fauci. An HHS spokesperson stressed that Fauci is an integral part of the U.S. government's coronavirus response, which is undoubtedly why it is so important that he stay safe and healthy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.